Today what we're going to do is uh, 6C standard, the parallel and perpendicular lines. Um, a lot of the things we've already done, um, we've done slope intercept form, so we're going to be using that today. Um, it's, we're getting kind of to the end of our chapter. So this is the last new section for our chapter. We're going to do parallel lines today, and then tomorrow we're going to do perpendicular lines. So really important to, like, you know, get your brain on. All right. So here's an example. Make sure you write down all of the directions on the example if you're doing pencil paper notes. It says, write an equation of a line that passes through the point and is parallel to the line. Students will ask me, Mrs. Medvick, I don't understand like what's going on, right? So this is essentially what's going on. Let's say I have the equation y equals 4x plus 1. And I've got this point, right? And here's the point. What they're asking you to do is they're asking you for the equation of a line that's parallel to the black line and goes through the blue dot. So they want an equation for the blue line. That's what they're asking you to do. Now, you'll notice that they did not give you a graph. So they don't want you to graph it and find it out that way, even though you probably could do that. But that's not what they're asking you to do. Okay? So this is what we're going to be doing, and this is how we do it. If I take a look at this equation, remember it follows the form y equals mx plus b. What's my slope of that line? It's 4. So I'm going to write m equals... 4. And then I'm going to draw a little ray, and I'm going to draw a symbol for parallel lines. You go, Mrs. Medvick, why did you do that? Well, this is going to help you tomorrow when we do perpendicular, because it's going to be the same format. It's just going to be a little bit different. Right? Now, the new line that's parallel to that, what do I know about parallel lines? They have the same slope. So if the old black line is 4, I know the new blue line, the slope, is going to be 4. It's going to be the same, and that's okay. Right now I'm going to use y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to take the point that we had, the xy of that point, and I'm going to plug it in to find that new equation. So the y is going to be 4 for my ordered pair. My m is going to be 4, right, because it says m equals 4. My x is going to be 2 for my ordered pair plus b. Why don't I put a number in for b? Because that is correct. That's what I'm trying to solve for. That's what I'm trying to find, right? And we've done this before, haven't we? Yeah, so if you've been doing the homework and keeping up on it right along, this is going to be like, oh, I get this. This is super easy, right? So I'm going to go ahead and solve for B. So 4 equals 4 times 2 is 8 plus B. And then I, very good, I subtract my 8. Make sure you show this work. Negative 4 equals B. Now, this is where a lot of you had trouble on your quiz. You could find the slope and you could find the y-intercept, but you didn't bring it together, okay? You got to make sure that you can bring it together. So y equals my blue slope is 4x minus 4, and I'm done. This is my equation, and that's it. That's all it is. Questions? Let's go on and look at this equation. All right, what's my slope on this line? Is it negative 2? I say no also. Why? Very good. It's not in slope-intercept form, is it? It was a trick. But that's common. That's very common. So make sure it's in the form first before you start taking things out. How do I get it in that form? Very good. I'm going to add 2x to both sides 
and what do I get? Very good. Y equals 2x plus 3. Now I got it in the form to use, don't I? Okay, what's my slope? M is 2. I'm going to make one that is parallel. So what's my new slope? And a lot of students will ask me, Mrs. Medvick, do we have to do this? The process is going to help you when you do perpendicular, okay? Because that new slope will change tomorrow, okay? So y equals mx plus b. What do I plug in for y? Five. It is 5. Where do you get that from? Daughter pair. Very good. So I'm going to get 5 equals, what's my m? It's 2. Remember my new blue 2. X is? Quattro. Where'd you get that from? Ordered pair point, right? Okay, plus B, because that's what I'm trying to find today, isn't it? All right, I'm going to multiply. So 5 equals what? 8 plus B. What do I do? Negative 3 equals B. Am I done? No. What's wrong? What do I need to do? Yes. Bring it together as an equation. Y equals? Very good. Okay, so this is my answer. Now, what if, and I'm not saying this is what the directions are, because they're not. What if they asked me to take that equation and put it into standard form, right? Is this in standard form? No, it's not. So let's just say it said that. Here's a little review because we're kind of rusty, right? And I take y equals 2x minus 3. How do I put that in standard form? What do I do? Yes. Very good. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I get minus 2x plus y equals negative 3. Am I done? Why? Very nice. Absolutely. Notice the number in front of the x cannot be negative, right? Because we didn't want a negative line leader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this whole thing by a negative 1. Why did I put parentheses around that big equation? That's correct. I need to distribute amongst the whole equation. So that's why I need to do that. So I'm going to end up with 2x minus y equals 3. That's the equation in standard form. So just kind of FYI, I had students not do that on the last quiz. All right, so that's why I'm reviewing that. All right, let's go ahead then with your assignment for today. It's going to be on page 322. You're going to do 3 through 11. Now, please have your notes out while you're doing this. Okay, because that shows you the process that I want you to follow when you do this. When you're done, you can check your answers with my book, and then you can turn it in. And I still have several assignments out for some of you, so make sure that you get that in two weeks before the end of the semester.